welcome back to my channel. My name is Kali Kalu on the internet and I also go by the name of Kali and I'm very happy that you found your way to today's video which is not a video in which I will be presenting to you Jolly Jam Shop's new release. So if you don't know it, Jolly Jam Shop is a small shop that uh, me and my boyfriend opened um, a while ago just to bring to you more legally licensed images and we try to bring to you a different variety of images from different artists that are maybe not as well known yet to you um, but um, from different kind of styles and what is important to us is to do it just right by the artist but also to just like give you more information about the artist and bring you this fun like getting this me time um, that you deserve as well because we all know, we who have been doing diamond painting for a while now, we know how good it can be for your soul. And I think it's really important to have a jolly soul. So I've been away for a week. Um, I've been on holiday, so I'm sorry. We have not been releasing a lot of new stuff. Um, actually, we were away for a whole week. So we just released few, uh, four new different images this week. And let's get into it right away. So what we see here is the first one. Oh, let me just go quickly to the real one. So this is the original artwork from um, Cristina Garcia. And she's a Spanish artist who works in traditional art and who enjoys painting with watercolors and inks. My, her favorite process is to color with watercolors and then finish the line art and make textures with colored pencils. She loves earthy tones, tones and fantasy themes for her work. So if you want to go check her out, she's also called In Real Art, so you can go check her out as well. Everything will be linked down below, so if you go see a little bit more what the artists do, you can do that more easily. Um, we are also trying to bring to you like more of the interviews in the following weeks. So if you want to get to, to know the artists a little bit more, you can check that out in a while. So we're working on that. Um, so for this first picture, this is the first one we are going to release from her and it's called Little Frisky Fairies. So this is the picture, the real one, the original one you see. Like always, I want to remind you that um, the colors that you will be seeing in our rendered version is a little bit more grayish so that if you once put down the drills, it will be a lot more popping. So if you want to know, you can go and check out, for example, um, the one I finished by Pixel Kami. Uh, you can go check out that video and you will see how popping actually the colors are given to like compared to maybe the images you see here. So we offer you this picture in three different sizes. We have a little snack size for those of you who like it a little bit smaller. So you get her in a 50 by 70 centimeters. Um, a little less detail like you may know. Um, you have a lot of um, black, white, grayish colors here and the popping red. So we offer you as well to customize your diamond painting. So if you want to order with us ABs or glow in the dark or crystals, you can do that. A nice way to place those would be her hair or the red parts, I think. Or you could go down with the fairies here, the whimsical frisky fairies. And you could place there, like if you want to order different colors, you can also order different colors from ABs like or glow in the darks. You could make them glow in the dark. I think that would look lovely as well. So that's something that I would do personally. So you can do a lot of playing around with this kind of canvas. So this is a small one. We can go a little bit bigger for more detail and you get a 50 by 70 centimeters. Um, you will see it's a little bit more clearer as well. And we have the biggest version. You can also play with the stars, place them, like make them crystals, ABs or glow in the dark. I think this would look so lovely, especially for Halloween. That's quite nearly and slowly advancing and getting to us. So this is the biggest one. It's a 70 by 100 centimeters. And you can always order them in square or round. Like this is your preference. You can go like you want. Um, usually like um, a square is a little bit more expensive just because you have more drills to place down than with uh, a round canvas. So this is the original one. Let's move on to the second one for this week. And this one is from um, Emily Grobler. So Emily Grobler is also an artist that I discovered 
and she's such a lovely person. So send her some love as well. She's really, really adorable as a person and her artwork is so gorgeous. We have more of her um, that will be in our shop very soon. So this is the very first one that I wanted to show you. So um, what I wanted to say about this one is that you have like for the title, it is called Pendants of the Night Air. So for me, it's very whimsical, it's very magical. You have like this magical atmosphere that I really love. You have beautiful gardens. If you love like landscape or scenery, um, this one is for you. I'm not really a landscape person in general, but her artwork is just gorgeous. And this does make me really want to work on one of her paintings as well. So this is it. This is the first one um, that we are offering from Emily Grobler. She will be linked down below as well, so you can go check her out. Um, what I wanted to say about that as well, um, I want to give you more info about her. Just so if you want to go check her out on Instagram, she's called Flusterbunny underscore scribbler. So you can scribble, you can find her there, sorry. Um, really, really lovely person as well. So I want to give you more info about the artist as well before we move on. So Emily Grobler, Fluster Bunny Scribbles, like she's called. She's a South African illustrator who has been working in the 2D animation industry for 10 years, but also has a deep love for traditional arts, like you can see here. She spends her three hours filling up sketchbooks with scenes up for natural plant world, animals and people capturing the freshness and tenderness of color, light and organic form in the illustrative style. So that is what really is depicted in her pictures and that's really what is fascinating. Her favorite mediums are gouache paint, watercolors and also mixed media, such as ink line work with color pencil, alcohol markers and paint. She would love to one day become a full-time illustrative artist. So I really hope for her that this wish will come true. She's such a nice, person and also her artwork is so so gorgeous she has a lot of uh, pictures that are inspired by movies as well like animation movies like studio ghibli and i think this is such a whimsical magical atmosphere that i really want to see as a diamond painting so if we go we have it in three different sizes we have it in a small one 50 to 75 centimeters which is really snack size Again, you can work around with like the little spots here that would do lovely if you want to place a beast. You could also work on like these little flowers that are pending down here. Uh, this would also look lovely with crystals or a beast. So if you want to like give it a little special touch to it. I also want to remind you that our a is actually not as expensive as you might Thing that um, usually if you buy the canvas this is the most expensive part if you order like a beast to it it can be about like um, 10 euros more uh, if you order like big packages of different kind of drills so it's really not as expensive then we have a second biggest size it's a 60 by 90 centimeters like a little bit more detail you can see here and the biggest one, it's an 80 by 120 centimeters. And here you get like, of course, all of the clearness that you want. But I think that you can get it already here as well. It's just a little bit like more, it gives it more like this, um, it's fluent, I think. Uh, whereas here it's a little bit more clearer. And if you want to have every detail out, you could go with the biggest size. But I think the small one does look already super nice and perfect to work on. So if you're more into smaller paintings. So after Emily Grobler, we have a third one that we released. And this is from an artist that we have already released a painting um, when we started actually last month or like two months ago now. Already. So she's called Polarts and we did a little bit more of an introduction of her already. So go check her out. She will be linked down below as well. She's a great artist with a lot of very beautiful ladies that she's drawing in watercolor and traditional art form. So this is moth season that we are releasing from her this uh, week. And so we have here um, the very first rendering of it. So this is a small one, really small if you love snack size, a 45 by 60 centimeters. And we have it a little bit bigger, 60 by 80 centimeters. You see the detail, you see how lovely she looks. So again, if you wanted to work with AB's crystal glow in the dark, why not put on some golden ones here, like um, 
or why not work with the moths? I think this would be stunning. You could also work with white colors or purple colors or just like give it a little bit more bling to it. Um, this is definitely one that I could see me as well put on my wish list. Actually, I always say that and I all have all of our paintings on my wish list. But anyway, she looks lovely. I really love how she looks, how fragile and still a feral like she does look in this painting here. So this one is from Polars and she will be linked down below as well, of course, um, if you want to show her some love. Let's move on and get to the last artist of this week. So this one is from Johan Flock, who also is called Elf. And let me give you a little bit more of info about this young artist. So um, if my sheet will open so that I can tell you a little bit more about him, let me just put this in the center so that you see the picture as well. So his name is Johan Flock or Elf, like he wants to be called. You can find him on Instagram on Elf with the pen always with an underscore between like all of the words and he's a painter and musician from Sweden who loves escapism so his art often comes from dreams he has had or from vivid visions and are usually meant to transport like the beholder to unreal otherworldly places and moments often you will find his art depicted lush nature people and some sort of mystery and this is what we get also with the sky beast so a little bit about that so i got like interested in his art just because it's so much different it's so different from what we usually see as an art in the diamond painting community but i think this one would look so lovely you could even say that it's some kind of um old master's art the way that he is drawing it and that's something that got me really interested in it as well as all of these nature themes and the mystery that's around it. So Sky Beast is the first one we are going to release from him and it was actually a painting that he did not have available right away and so he had to go there and um, take a picture of it. It took a little bit of a while but I really wanted to show it to you. So we have more of this artwork that's coming to the shop um, soon and I'm really looking forward to it. So if you want to show him some love as well, uh, please go check him out, um, subscribe also to his page and all of our artist pages. Um, you will find a lot of art and it will fill you maybe your day with some jolly moments if you stumble upon them. So we will offer this beautiful painting in two sizes. One time a 60 by 80 centimeters. You see that it's still very beautiful. You have a lot of detail already going on with the girl down here. You have the whale that's floating down through the sky. We have the fish here and we have the air balloons. Like really weird texture of it, but it's like i really enjoy what i see so it's really magical and i think there's this mystery that um the artist is talking about you can feel it throughout his pictures as well and you have it in a bigger size if you want to get like again more detail more clearness of everything and this would be 90 by 120 centimeters so if you go here again if you want to do some popping you can work around with the red one around the balloon you could work with like the whale that's coming down or the fish i always say it's a whale but could be a fish so i don't know um you could work with the girl like everything make everything neutral and just put a lot of things in the girl so your eye will be drawn to her first before you see the rest of the scene same you could do that with the whale or the fish so this is up to you these are just some suggestions that you can do again you can order them in round or square ones and it's up to you if you want to customize them or not you just need to send us a little quick mail afterwards if you want to add some abs and we will add them to you so that's no problem at all and everything will be sent together so no problem there as well so these are the four pictures that we offer you this week so again we got sky beasts here um, as our last and official <laughs> release for this week we got moth season as well um, from like i told you guys from pull arts we have this beautiful one from Emily Grobler, so very beautiful scenery as well. And we have the last one, Frisky Whimsical from um, Fairies from Christina Garcia. So this is what we got this week. And I really hope there's something that you would enjoy, that you find that you like. I also want to shout out because we have still going on until the end of tonight, midnight here, 12 p.m. GMT plus two. We have like um, this 15% off on all of our products. This does of course not yet count for these new releases because they will be released tomorrow. 
but who knows maybe there will be more info about it like more summer festivities in stock for you guys so check it out tomorrow if you want to get a hand on these paintings so until now we have been releasing mainly images that are in stock like in general you can get them they won't run out of stock um, but for the future we have also foreseen some limited editions so stay tuned for that um, if you're interested in something like this. So this is it. This is the rendering for today. This is all I wanted to show you. I hope there's something you like and I will continue. I will stop the video now and I'll be like getting to draw the winner of this week's Jolly Tuesday raffle. So stay tuned if you have participated and you want to see the winner. Yeah, so I'm just going to allow myself to show it to you this way because this week there were a lot of people who actually participated in it in one way or another way. So I went through everything. I checked out like everyone who either liked it, commented it or like uh, placed their vote or whatever. And I added you like to this little spinning wheel and where we will be drawing now the winner of today's 15% off from Jolly Jam Shop. So if you win, you will get contact. I will contact you by mail, like always. And um, you have to give me your, um, if you have not yet created your account with us, you will give have to give me your email address so that I can make uh, a code for you guys so that you can use it, um, the 15% off. By your name so this is it i also just wanted to say and remind you that we have a redemption like a redeem um, program which means that if you want to you buy something from our shop you will get automatically like points and with the points you can redeem you can redeem them actually um for your further purchases sorry i'm like a little bit um tired so uh, i'm not really working that well with speaking right now so this is it i'm going to draw the winner right now so stay tuned and we get ready okay so let's see who will be the winner of jolly tuesday this week and the 15 percent off so it's diamond painter 13 so congratulations to you so you won this week's um <laughs> raffle so you will get the 15 percentage off of our like canvases and our products and you can use it so we will be contacting you and um i hope you like it that you won <laughs> so maybe um we will see you in our shop very soon so for those of you who did not win this week uh like always next week is also time for jolly tuesday so you might have the chance to participate again and to win another uh like whatever it is we up to sometimes it's 10 percent, sometimes it's 15 percent. but you will also there will also be a winner so try again we will see each other next week bye